guys, Jess here with Sass and Crafts, and today I'm going to show you a really cute and simple 4th of July home decor project that you can do. Um, it's one that even the kids can help out with, except for maybe the hot glue part, because if you're like me and burn your fingers all the time with the hot glue, you may not want them to be touching that. Um, but they can help out with like the ribbon and, you know, putting the hoop together and that kind of thing. But let me just show you real quick what we are making so you get an idea of what it's going to be. Let me just lift the camera up a little bit. It's basically almost like a windsock, I guess you can call it. So um, just really cute, really simple. Um, and let me show you how we are going to make that. All right, so what you are going to need is a glue gun, some scissors, your embroidery hoop. This one is, I think this one was a seven inch um, that I grabbed, but you know they sell them in all different sizes. So really it's however big you want this to be. Some ribbon, preferably in like red, white, and blue. And then just some like baker's twine or string that you can um, put on the top of it. And it's really easy to do this, guys. I'm, I'm talking like it took me maybe 20 minutes to put all this together. And that's all I was watching TV. So you're just going to unscrew it, pull the hoop apart. You're not going to do it on the outer part, the part that has the little um, screw to it. You're going to do it on the inside. And so what you're going to do... Yeah, my ribbon out that I pre-cut is you are just going to start gluing them onto your hoop just like that real easy you don't even need to like overhang it or anything just uh, because when you put that outer hoop on there it's gonna really and tighten it. it's gonna really hold everything in place so, let's see, I'm hoping you need a little bit more glue for the bigger ones. And I just alternate the ribbon, just like that, super easy. Let's see, which one have I not done yet? I haven't done solid red. No, that's polka dot. There's my solid red. And so what I would do is I would alternate my reds about three quarters of the way around the hoop. So I'm obviously not going to do that all today because that would probably bore you to tears. I just wanted to get it started to show you the general idea of how you make this. But just alternate your colors of red until you get maybe about right there, three quarters of the way. And that's when you would just start adding your blue ribbons on, just like that. And you would just glue your blue ribbons on. And so then, once you've got all your ribbons on there, like I said, you can just trim the tops as needed. Preferably with better scissors than what I have. My kids like to grab my scissors and cut who knows what with them. And then you're going to, once you got all your ribbon on, you just put it right over the outside. You might have to loosen it up just a little bit because when you got that ribbon on there and that glue, it makes it a little bit of a thicker layer to get on there. But And then you'll put it on there. And you'll tighten it. Just like that. Now you could go and paint the outside if you wanted to, or even the inside. Um, that's personal preference. I just left mine 
um, wood color and then you would just take your string and you would tie like three pieces like equal equal distance from each other and a little trick that I do because I don't know about you but whenever I would try and tie something that would be you know supposed to be in the middle it would always be like cockeyed and lopsided and stuff like that so what I do is I just cut all my pieces of my string you know tie them on here to where I want them to be not too tight in case I need to you know shift things around I don't want it to be too tight that I can't undo that um, string to move it and then I would gather all of the pieces up gather all the three pieces of string up I'd hang it so I could see how it was going to hang once I got it and then I would very carefully tie a knot right there and then cut off any excess um, so that was my little trick there of how to have your little hanging things be level once you do go to hang them instead of cockeyed. So let me just show you again what the completed project will look like once you've finished it. So if you can see I got some of my blues and then my reds. So like I said, super easy, something you could do with the kids. The kids could help you, you know, cut the ribbon. Um, and the ribbon is, <clears throat> the length of the ribbon is personal choice. Um, I just, it doesn't have to all be the same as you can see. I got a short one here, but a long one there. So it is all just, you know, personal preference, um, how long you want your ribbon. I think the longer the better, though, um, because it'll blow better in the breeze. So. That is your 4th of July ribbon windsock. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I hope you're enjoying my videos. If you could be so kind and subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell, and you will be alerted to the next time I have a video posted. I hope you all have a great day. Bye, guys.